Hi everyone, this is the sixth video of the ACT math practice problem series and today's topic is also laws of exponent and here we have a small little problem from the laws of exponent and as I always recommend before seeing the solution try to pause the video and give it a try yourself try to solve it yourself and then finally look at the solution. So here we have 16 to the power 3 over 4 multiplied by 8 to the power negative 1 third and we have to simplify to find a value, right? If you look at the answer options, they look pretty confusing, right? So let's try to solve the problem. So 16 to the power 3 over 4 can be written as, so 16 is what? 16 is actually 2 to the power 4, and then we have a power of 3 over 4, and then multiplied by, and because it is in the multiplication form, it's pretty easy, and 8 can be written as 2 cubed, and then we have a power of negative 1 third. Now from here what can I do? Now we are going to use the property like this that says a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. That is one of the properties of exponent and we are going to use that property right here. So using that property we get that this will be the first factor here. The first term would be 2 to the power 4 times 3 fourth and then multiplied by again 2 cubed so 2 to the power 3 times negative 1 third think of it like that let's assume that the exponent inside the parenthesis is m and the exponent outside the parenthesis is n then the ultimate exponent would be m times n and that's exactly what i have done i have used the same property for both the terms here both the factors here right so now from here what can we say okay so this will be now as you can see the 4 right here and this 4 in the denominator they will cancel out each other and similarly this 3 right here and the 3 in the denominator they are all in the exponent by the way I am talking about the exponent here right. So they will also cancel out each other so finally we are going to be left with 2 to the power 3 which is 2 cubed so that is 2 cubed times here we will have 2 to the power negative 1 so from here the first factor is 2 cubed which is equal to 8 and the second factor is 2 to the power negative 1 that means it is 1 over 2 whole to the power positive 1 so this is nothing but the reciprocal of 2 with a positive 1 power so we can write it as 1 over 2 that is the reciprocal of 2 with a positive power 1 I always want to convert into the positive exponent and then as you can see this is nothing nothing but 8 times 1 half and that is actually equal to 4. So the correct answer is actually 4 and if you look at our answer options here on the left answer 4 which is under option k so k is the correct option choice here sometimes you may be able to eliminate some of the answer choices here but in this case it was kind of difficult to eliminate the answer choices so i thought you know let's just simply solve it quickly and we can come to the answer i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next one